Welcome back to Just Scribble. Occasionally, companies will reach out to me and offer to send me products for review or products to share with you, and sometimes just to try out for myself. And oftentimes, I decline those offers. Sometimes it's because it's a product that I personally wouldn't use, and so it's not a product that I want to check out or that I want to share. Sometimes it's because of the brand, because I don't want to promote that brand. Sometimes it's because of the quality of the products, but there are other times when a brand reaches out to me, and I'm so excited that they reached out and offered to send something to me because it's a brand that I've heard of or I've been watching or checking out or it's a product that I've been wanting to try things like that and recently the company Lockbee reached out to me and offered to send a couple of products to me so that I could check them out and I was really excited Lockbee is a company that I had heard of before that I had actually seen and checked out in the past and I was really intrigued by their products so I accepted their offer and they sent me some products to check out and I thought since I was going to open them up I might as well do it on camera and share it with you guys too in case it's a company that also interests you. So one of the reasons that I really liked the Lockbee brand when I originally had checked them out and seen them on social media was because they're a notebook and accessory company for fountain pen lovers. And you guys know I love fountain pens, so that kind of seemed like a really good fit. And then one day when I was looking on their website, I had seen their mission statement, and it really spoke to me because it was in line with what I want for my channel or the reason that I started my channel. Their mission statement is to empower people to unlock their creative and productive potential. And I really liked that. So I liked their mission statement and the premise behind their products, but I also really love that their products are made of waxed canvas. I'm a big fan of waxed canvas, and so I was really excited that all their products are made out of waxed canvas. It is water resistant, it's super durable, and it's light, lighter than like a leather cover. And so I was really excited when they reached out and offered to send something to me, and so I thought I would take advantage and get some products that I had been looking at for a while, and I could share them with you as well. So I have two products here. These are the two products on their site that I had been looking at for a while, but they have a lot of awesome products. So they have notebooks. I think if memory serves, they come in two sizes, an A5 size and then a pocket size, which is this that we're gonna check out in a minute. And then they have a bunch of accessories, pen rolls and zipper pen cases and things like that. They come in three colors, at least as of the time that I was kind of shopping for my products, they came in three colors. So they're all waxed canvas. They come in a tan brown color, a blue color and a black cover. And I actually opted to get black. I'm actually not normally a black cover or bag kind of person. I like browns and I like colors, but I was kind of thinking that I might add patches to these, at least to this one. And a lot of the patches I have in my stash look really good on black. And so I decided that I would go with black. So I ordered both of these in black. So we're going to check these out because this is my first time at seeing them in person. I've only seen them online on social media and then on their website. So this product right here, this is their pocket journal. So this is the notebook cover that I got. And then this is their venture pouch. And the black color is called charcoal. So this is the charcoal waxed canvas. So let's start with the notebook. So this is their logo with a B and I love bees. So it was another reason I was really drawn to this brand. And then it says keep creating, which I absolutely love. And then there's a thank you for your purchase on the back. And it has their Instagram and Facebook there. And links to all of that will be down in the description box box down below. But this is their pocket journal. And so it is a zipper wax canvas journal cover and it comes with, and their A5 size, I think it's A5 size, I'll put that down in the description box. Their A5 size also comes with a journal. So it comes already with the notebook that you need to get started, which I thought was really, really nice because then as soon as you buy it, you're ready to go. And these are Tomoe River paper, which you guys know I love. So this is pocket size, so field notes size. And it comes with a journal that has a dot grid. It's a nice dot grid. It's easy to see the dots, which I really appreciate. So many things that have come out recently have been so faint, I can't even see them. But this is super easy to see. It is stitch bound. There's a place there where you can put your name and your address and all of that. And then it has this little honeycomb on there. That's what it looks like to me. And this can just slide in there like that. And you have a notebook. And then on this side, you have a little pocket has a little silica pouch in there, but you have a pocket where you could put a washi card or ephemera, or you could even stick your ID if you were just kind of carrying this as your bag for the day. And then on the outside, it has a pocket here 
that you can stick things down in. So you could even stick like a passport notebook, you could stick that down in there, like a passport insert. So you could have a pocket insert and a passport. So if you wanted to use one as like your daily bujo and then you wanted to keep like a monthly planner, you could keep that back there. Or you just wanted to have a second notebook or you could keep a passport over there and you could keep both of them together. But you could put stickers, you could put anything you wanted in there. And then it has another pocket here which you stick a couple of pens in. And then it has another one right here, which actually would hold a pen. I don't think it will hold this pen. I think you'd have to have, no, it will actually. So that's a fountain pen. So you could stick two fountain pens or a fountain pen and a mild liner and a pencil or whatever little combination that you wanted. And then zip it up and you'd have your little notebook on the go. Let me take, let's see. I'm not sure if I can get this off easily. Let me take the little tag off, just so it's not in our way. And it looks like that. For this journal, the pocket one, I picked this because I thought this would be great to keep in my car. So I'd have a little notebook with me, I could put a pen in there and I'd have a little notebook with me in case I needed one when I was out and about. I could even stick like some band-aids and things like that in here and make like a little first aid kit with a notebook and a pen. And if for some reason I decided that I didn't want to use it, it would be great for my husband as well because it's super durable so it would work great on the construction site and it's slim enough that it fits in the back pocket of like a pair of jeans or in a cargo pant pocket and so he could just grab this and go so if i don't use this my hubby will but that is the pocket journal it zips really nice i like that and it has lots of storage but it's still really slim so that's the first thing that I picked out. And the other thing that I picked out was this Venture pouch. I was going back and forth actually between their Quattro, which is a zipper case, kind of like this. I think it's a little bit bigger, but inside it holds fountain pens. So it holds four fountain pens. And so it zips open and then it has places inside for your fountain pens. But I have fountain pen zip cases from, I have one from Gallon Leather, and then I have some like rickshaw ones that your pen slips into, and I really honestly don't use them that much, and so I didn't think I would get very much use out of that. But I was really intrigued by this, because this pouch is kind of dual purpose. So let me take that off. So one of the reasons that I thought this pouch was really cool is that you can use it as like a pen pouch and I'll show you like the compartments, but you can also clip a strap onto it and you can carry it as a crossbody. So this could actually be like my purse out and about on the weekends. And I thought that that was really fun and neat. And if you're using it as like your journaling pouch or for a watercolor set, if you're gonna go do art out and about or like at a coffee shop, you can just carry it by this little handle. So I liked the fact that you could use it multiple ways and it had multiple functions. So I thought that was really cool. And it has two zipper compartments. So up at the top, or what I'm calling the top. It has a zipper compartment here. And inside there you have a pocket on this side that's quite nice. And you have another one on this side and this side has some small Velcro pockets to keep things organized, made out of like a mesh material. And then I didn't show this in the pocket journal, but it has this honeycomb print on the inside and in the charcoal color it's a like camel tan color and this has the same fabric that feels like it's waterproof and it has and it has the little hexagons on it or the little beehive print on it so you have that pocket there and then over here you have this pocket that has elastic where you can put your pens so i thought this would be really good pen pouch because you could put your tombos in here i think yes so tombos fit which is awesome. So you could put all of the Tombos and mild liners, markers, highlighters, whatever you're using for the week or the month, depending on how you do like your color coordinating. And you could put those there with your gel pens or your fountain pens, and they would stay nice because they fit into these little elastics. And then on the other side, you could put your little scissors and your washi card and your correction tape and your little glue runner and you have a place you could stick paper clips or page flags or anything like that so i thought this would be a really great 
pen pouch. That's actually what I got it for because I thought it was kind of perfect. I'm always looking for the perfect pouch. I have a lot of them, but this one kind of seems perfect to me. I like that it has organization on this side and a lot of space, but it's not so big. Like even if it was full, that it's too big and cumbersome and everything zips closed. There's no like external pockets where stuff's gonna fall out. And then I really loved this feature where I could keep my mild liners and my Tombows and all that. And I could keep everything together and just toss this in my bag. So if I wanna take it with me to work or if I was going to my sister's house to hang out or I was going on a trip or whatever, I could use this as my pen pouch and like journaling pouch, pen pouch, planner pouch, journaling pouch, whatever you wanna call it. And I thought it was really nice. And because it's this wax canvas, it's super durable and it's water resistant and it's really light. So it weighs like next to nothing. So it wouldn't be super heavy in my bag either. And then of course it has these on there so I could turn it into a crossbody. If I wanted to wear it, stick my wallet in it and go to a coffee shop to journal or something like that. This is the thing I'm most excited about because I think it's really like the perfect pen pouch. So obviously I haven't used this, so I can't fully tell you the quality because I haven't used it and tested it, but I can tell you as a person that is a sewer, it is sewn and put together really well. The zippers are really smooth. The lining feels really nice. I really like the style and the organization and the simplicity and the size. I think this is gonna be like my perfect pen pouch and I'm so excited. So I'll definitely do another video. I'll fill it up and when I'm using it, I'll pop on one day and I'll do a video or if I'm doing like a planner video, I'll pull it out so you guys can see how I'm using it and I'll give you guys an update. But this is what I'm most excited about. I also think this is awesome. But this I'm not quite as excited about as this. This is just like a really great way to carry a notebook and a few essentials with you. And I think it's awesome. And I love that it will fit in a back pocket or in your bag because it's really slim or in your car, which is probably where I'm gonna stash mine so I can have a notebook with me at all times. So I think this design is awesome. I really like the exterior pockets and I like the way that it's set up inside. Cause once again, it's just simple. Oh, there's more pockets i didn't even notice there's a small pocket there a small pocket there and a small pocket there these would be a little bit hard to use i think i don't think there's a lot you could put in there but if i was going to put band-aids or some sort of like emergency essentials that's a great place for that and then i would still have this for other stuff so that was a neat find i didn't realize that when i was sharing it a minute ago but i do like this but I'm really excited about this. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I figured since my package came, I might as well hop on and open it up with you guys. I don't know if you guys have purchased from Lockbee. If you have, let me know what you've purchased and what you think, or if you've heard of the brand, but I'm excited. I really like their mission statement. I like the premise behind their products and why they use waxed canvas. So definitely check it out and read a little bit about their business if you're interested. But that's my little share. I just wanted to open this up and I wanted to do it with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.